Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's October 22nd, 2020. Here are your latest church militant headlines. Hunter Biden's laptop contains child porn. Former New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani confirmed he's turned over the contents to the Delaware State Police. And I've seen I it. turned it over to the... To, Let, to the you turned, turned it, you it turned over, it over to, to, the, to the Delaware State Police, correct? Yes, yesterday. Bernie Carrick and I turned it over to the Delaware State Police because we're right. very uncomfortable with this. So we're very uncomfortable with the fact that these underage girls were not protected. Delaware police have since referred the contents to the FBI. The FBI and the DOJ are rejecting claims that the Hunter Biden story is Russian disinformation. Tuesday, a senior official confirmed with Fox News that both the FBI and the DOJ agree with the director of national intelligence, John Ratcliffe, who confirmed the story does not involve Russian collusion. And in a letter to Congress yesterday, Jill Tyson, director of the FBI Office of Congressional Affairs, said, referring to Ratcliffe's words, quote, we have nothing to add at this time. Pope Francis is expressing support for gay civil unions. In a documentary released yesterday, the pontiff argued for legal protections for gay couples. Quote, homosexual people have the right to be in a family. They are children of God. What we have to have is a civil union law. That way, they are legally covered, close quote. Pro-LGBT priest Father James Martin is using this to push his homosexual agenda. The New York Times is erroneously denying Black Lives Matter's connection to the occult. The publication attacked radio host Carina Moncada for tying BLM to witchcraft, saying the allegation is false. But co-founder Patrice Cullors has openly admitted the movement is closely tied to the occult. Hashtags are, for us, are way more than a hashtag. It is... Um, literally almost resurrecting a spirit so they can work through us to get the work that we need to get done. President Trump is leading in three battleground states. The latest Trafalgar poll, known for its accuracy, shows him up in the key state of Florida at 48% to Biden's 46%. He has a bigger lead in Arizona, up 48% to Biden's 43%. And in Michigan, Trump is leading at 47% to Biden's 46%. A famous rapper is doubling down on his endorsement of President Trump. On Tuesday, hip-hop icon 50 Cent tweeted this about Joe Biden's proposed 62% tax rate. Yeah, I don't want to be 20 cent. 62% is a very, very bad idea. I don't like it. The tweet follows an earlier Instagram post urging his followers to vote for Trump. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael speaks with Steve Bannon. God bless you.